The brief Storm Watcher Sea Camp in New Providence and Salvador and Eleuthera aim to educate children about ocean and climate interactions and illustrate the ways in which our coastal ecosystems protect us during storm events. Campers learned about Bahamian weather patterns and how climate change can negatively affect our weather patterns, leading to more intense storms and sea level rise. These lessons were especially important for our young residents of San Salvador because of the impacts of Hurricane Joaquin. With heavy winds, rain, and flooding, San Salvador was one of the islands that felt the brunt of the storm. Campers shared their experiences of that storm. The water was outside by the trees. It was windy, and a bunch of dead was flying off. Our house started to get flooded. But we stopped the flooding from coming in. The sand from the beach, it just came beating against the, our windows. The wind was like, it was like crazy. It was like, you could have, it sounded like, like a ghost. The trees started to break. Power lines started to get cut and started to bind across our door. I was very scared because I didn't know what was going on. It was. Trees blowing everywhere. My sister, she was really afraid to come in, for the water to come into her house. She, she was, the water was, was going to flood the whole house. So she started crying. 80% of land in the Bahamas is less than one meter above sea level, and most Bahamians live within two miles of the coast. Protecting our coral reefs and our mangroves through proper land use, coastal setbacks, and marine protected areas is critical to safeguarding us from storm surges. Climate models indicate that human-induced climate change serves to increase storm frequency and intensity. Hurricanes grow stronger over warm water, so an increase in water temperature helps to fuel hurricane development. I feel that uh, they need to have uh, studies of uh, coastal inundations, or storm surge mapping and the like, and that would allow the Ministry of Works to identify more safer zones for uh, the building of homes. We need to protect our coastlines to protect ourselves from storms. The mangroves, they are like a filter. They absorb the water to protect our coastlines from surges when storms come. Mangroves act as a buffer. They protect us from big waves and flooding. Coral reefs help protect our coastline when Okay, like, like for example there's a storm and big waves are coming in, they help break the waves. Campers were able to swim through mangroves and over coral reefs to get a first-hand look at how these ecosystems work to protect the land. They also learned to identify various marine species to see the diversity of life that these habitats support. I learned about hurricanes, about fishes, like ID. Fishes ID like I didn't know about, like goldfish, blue tang. My snorkeling experience was a very enjoyable one because I got to experience a lot of different organisms that live in the mangroves, like the upside down jellyfish and other baby fish that live in inside the mangroves. Protecting the ecosystem from climate change was a main topic for the camp, and participants now have a better understanding of how to preserve their local marine life. In the event of another major storm, they are also better prepared to secure themselves and their families. We need a lot of batteries, water, radio, uh, a lot of food supplies. Uh, you need shutters for your windows in case something blows. Uh, make sure all your pets are inside. Okay, some of them. Uh, we need first aid kits. Okay, something like that. Pack stuff um, that you might need if hurricane does come, like for example, water, batteries, a quick snack, flashlight, a hurricane guide. Button up before the hurricane reach. Make sure you have a lot of supply of food. Through fun, interactive presentations, hands-on activities, and daily field trips, 
Campers developed an appreciation for the marine environment and its value to our country's food security, culture, and economy. They were able to strengthen their swimming and water safety skills and learn practical ways to become better stewards of our natural resources. With this knowledge, they can affect change within their communities in the short term and within the country in the long term. For more information on BRIEF, becoming a member, or getting involved with any of our programs, visit BRIEF's website at brief.org or call the BRIEF office at 327-9000.